Our audio future is here, my brothers and sisters. 32-bit audio has come to save us all. And every audio company is jumping on this hype train. But the reason why this is so important is because of this little knob right here. But before I can tell you what that's all about, first I need to thank our amazing patrons. Thank you guys so much. Look at all of them. They're beautiful. If you want to join them, check out the link in the description. And I have to ask you to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon to appease our YouTube algorithm gods are being real today. And please stay tuned to learn why you'll never have to worry about audio ever again. Kinda. You'll see. Okay, so this right here is the gain knob. It comes on most audio recorders and controls the sensitivity of the audio recorder picking up the microphone. And when you're recording audio, the most uncertain part is how much gain you'll need to hit that Goldilocks sweet spot of audio bliss. Too much gain and you start to pick your audio. And that'll go above zero decibels and you'll lose all of that information. But if you go too low, you might not hear what the subject is saying. You can get some static and all the other stuff in the background. So finding the right level to hit is one of the most important things during production. Cause like we said in one of our previous videos, audio is super important. Go check out that video on good and bad audio. It's a little kitten in it. You're gonna love it. You know, you will. I know you will. So when I'm on set, I try to make sure that my audio is hitting negative six decibels at the high end, negative 18 decibels on the low end. That way, if your subject is getting a little bit rowdy, they have some room to play above negative six decibels so they don't hit zero. While if your subject is getting a little bit quiet, they'll probably go down to like negative 24 decibels and you have plenty of information to get before it gets all staticky and gross. But that all changes today, my friends, because with 32 bits of audio bit depth, you're never really gonna peak or duck ever again. Well, now you might be asking, well, what is audio bit depth? Well, with higher bit depth, the bigger range you have between your highs and your lows. So with 32 bits of audio bit depth, you have so much more range than you might at 24 or 16 bits. This is because it's not linear, like your ISO values or your shutter speed, where if you go from eight to 1600, that's twice as much. This is closer to a logarithmic function, where the more bits you have, you go up in orders of magnitude. So let me give you some examples. So at 16 bits, which is like CD level quality of audio, you have about 65,000 values per sample, which tops out at about 24 decibels and gives you between negative 32,000 and 32,000 values per sample. But if we go up to 24 bits, which is only eight bits more, that's about DVD and Blu-ray level of audio quality, which is 16 million values per sample. So that tops out at about 96 decibels and gives you a range of negative eight million to eight million values per sample. So if we do another leap of eight bits and go from 24 bits to 32 bits, we have four billion values per sample. So that tops out at 192 decibels and goes from negative two billion to positive two billion values per sample, which is an absolutely insane amount of information per sample. It's so insane that Zoom's incorporating 32-bit audio into a bunch of their recorders, but they just released a tiny lavalier recorder with 32-bit audio that has no gain knob. They're so confident that you're not gonna peak or duck below all of the information that they give you that you can't even raise or lower your gain at all. If anything, you're probably gonna overload the diaphragm on your microphone before you have any issues with the audio recording device itself. And another company, Tentacle Sync, have come out with their own 32-bit audio recorder that syncs up with their timecode devices that you put on your camera, so you hit record and you're pretty much ready for the day. Honestly, at this point, you're probably gonna have to worry about like your battery running out before you have to worry about your audio levels, which is crazy. When we're on set, that is the number one thing I'm always worrying about because I know how important audio is. So if we get back and we look at some of our audio and it's peaking too high or it's too low, then I'm afraid we might have to ADR some stuff and that just halts the whole process. It becomes a whole thing. Zoom has actually had a slight workaround for this in their Zoom H6 series that we use where they have a little backup recording but that's only for your overall project and not each individual track. So you might be able to save the overall recording, but if you have several things plugged in, you can't isolate them. But now that's a thing of the past with 32-bit audio recording. But like I mentioned a second ago, even if you have 32-bit audio, that's not gonna solve all of your problems. You first need to make sure that you have proper mic etiquette so everything doesn't sound super ASMR-y or you're picking up too much because you're too far away from the subject. And you need to make sure that the type of microphone you're using is gonna be able to support getting all of those bits. Case in point, we use these, the Rode Wireless Goes, which is super amazing and we love using them, but they actually, between transmitting, can peak. 
So even if you plug this into a 32-bit recorder, it might still peak and you can't recover any of that data. But what do you think of this new audio revolution? And are you planning on getting a 32-bit recorder? Well, let us know in the comments. I personally am gonna wait until they have a 32-bit recorder that's about the, the form factor of a Zoom H6. I just really like the Zoom H6, it's super great. One that they have right now looks kind of like a mixer and I don't have enough room for that in my kit. So I'm waiting for something similar. And I might just, in the meantime, pick up some of those tiny recorders. And if you like this video, give it a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell icon to combat this giant Goliath that is the YouTube algorithm that's just been ruining a bunch Bunch of YouTubers. So consider helping us out with that. And if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go test out our microphones to see if they can handle 32-bit audio by screaming into them a bunch. Ah!